In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Bushnell Tour V5 Shift, and it might just be the best rangefinder this year. So the Bushnell V5 Shift is Bushnell's new flagship rangefinder. Bushnell's been doing rangefinders for a long time, so they know what they're doing. All their rangefinders are great quality. The V5 Shift is kind of the top of the line. It's coming in at about $400 for the Shift and $100 less for the non-Shift. So if you don't want the slope function, then you can save some money. So while I was editing the video, I realized I just called the V5 Shift the top of the line model for Bushnell. And in fact, they do have a higher model, the Pro XE. And what that does is has a system built into it that adjusts for weather and temperature as well. It's got a barometer built in. I haven't tested that one. I don't know how accurate that is or how useful it is, but it is $150 more than the V5 Shift and $250 more than the regular V5. So the V5 Shift right out of the box feels pretty solid and pretty durable. It's uh, made from mostly this, this heavy duty rubber feeling material. There's definitely some, some plastic, but it's not cheap plastic at all. It's, it's pretty solid and I don't think it's gonna give me any trouble if I drop it. Also comes with this handy pouch, which is definitely useful. Uh, it's got the zipper for security so you can, you know, overnight or whatever, zip it up so it's not going to fall out. But during your round, I really like this, this quick access latch so you can just latch it real quick and get it in and out fast without having to do the zipper thing. Um, you know, I would zip it up at night or zip it up at the end of the round, but that uh, quick access latch is pretty useful. It lets you get your rangefinder and get your yardage fast. So I'm going to play 18 holes and we're going to take a look at some of the features of the rangefinder and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. So I want to just give a big thanks to Stitch Golf. They sent me this shirt. I uh, love Stitch Golf stuff. Uh, if you're interested in checking out more of their shirts, they have some great quality shirts. Check out the link in the description below. So right off the bat, Bushnell is definitely one of the industry leaders when it comes to rangefinders. I've been using their rangefinders for well over probably 15 years, and they're all pretty good. So there's really not a lot of new tech when it comes to rangefinders. They're all really accurate. They're all really good. The things that matter most when you're looking at a rangefinder is how easy is it to catch the target, how good is the viewfinder, how well can you see your target, and how fast does it acquire the target. You also have to think about things like build quality and longevity and other things like that. So we're going to look at the V5 Shift, which is basically the same as the V5 for you know everything else other than the fact that the Shift has the slope technology. And, um, you know, whether you like that or not, you can maybe save a few bucks if you want the one without the slope technology. Some of the biggest changes with the V5 compared to the V4 are in the viewfinder itself. They've increased the transparency of the viewfinder to 70%. Now, past Bushnell rangefinders and basically most of the industry is around 30 to 40%. And that means when it's getting dark out, uh, near the end of the day, when there's sun in your eyes and in, in the direction that you're shooting, it's going to be much easier to see your target and acquire your target. So one of my favorite parts about this rangefinder is the magnet. Uh, if you play in a golf cart or if you use a push cart, this is going to be really useful. Check it out. It's not really that innovative, but it works great. and. I've been playing all day with this thing on the cart and it hasn't fallen off once. Pretty bumpy course here and we're having no trouble with this thing staying on the cart. It's a pretty strong magnet. I don't think it's ever going to fall off under normal use. Let's talk a little bit about the slope on the V5 Shift. This year Bushnell has put a new algorithm in its slope calculation. So it's going to be a little bit different if you've been using Bushnell rangefinders before. If you care about that, it might be a good reason to upgrade to the V5. What they did was work with a lot of different club manufacturers to figure out a more accurate descent angle of the ball on your most common clubs. And with new clubs getting you know lower CGI, lower center of gravity, the ball's gonna go higher, you're gonna have a steeper descent angle. So things are changing as the industry evolves. And Bushnell's trying to make sure they incorporate that into the algorithm that calculates the slope yardage in their rangefinders. 
So we're going to test out the slope function on this. We've got 211 yards, and it's telling me there's a negative 2 degree slope, which is going to give me a playable yardage of about 200 yards. So that sounds about right. That's probably what I would adjust if I was looking, you know, trying to eyeball this. Now, can I tell you if that's exactly right or how accurate this algorithm is? I don't know. But if they're doing their research, you're probably doing a good job. So if you like this review so far, make sure to hit that like button so that more people see this review and I can do more of these for you. So I've been using the V5 shift for, well, we're on the 17th hole now. So I've been using it for the entire round and here's a few of the things I've noticed. One, it is lightning fast. The minute you press the button, you have your yardage. It gives you that little like jolt, a little vibrate, and it lights up to make, to make sure you know it's locked on. But before it even does that, it gives you the yardage. So um, I found the yardages to be extremely accurate and extremely quick. That is really, the for me, the most important thing. I want to be able to get my yardage quick. I've used some range finders where you have to sit there, press the button a few times, and sometimes it doesn't lock onto the flag. And it's just a miserable experience because you want technology to get out of your way when you're playing golf. You don't want the technology to be part of the game. So in this case, it gets out of the way. It works real quick and on the first try. It is definitely durable. I actually dropped it once and it works just fine still. And um, I like, I just like the viewfinder. I think it's crystal clear compared to some others. The uh, added transparency, they, they say it's, you know, 70% transparency. It works when you're shooting into the sun. It's about 5.30 now, so I'm getting a little bit of a lower sun, and I'm noticing a difference between this and older rangefinders that I've used. So I have to say I'm really liking this rangefinder so far. Okay, so rangefinders like this maybe aren't for everyone. If you're more into a GPS, check out my review. There's going to be a link here and probably in the description below. Check out my review of the Bushnell Phantom. It is a super simple, easy to use GPS device that gives you yardages and doesn't really uh, get in the way of your game. So check it out. So who is this for? You know, this is for the player that plays a lot of golf, uh, isn't afraid to invest a little bit in a rangefinder that is definitely at the high end of the, the price range for rangefinders. There's others out there that you're going to find cheaper. Some of them half price compared to this, but you're not. I don't think you're going to get the speed and accuracy and just ease of use that you do with this device. It's a Bushnell. They've been doing this for years. It is pretty much all you can ask for. What I really like about this compared to other Bushnells that I've used is that the viewfinder is crystal clear. You can use it in lower light. You can use it into the sun. And I haven't. I didn't have any trouble hitting yardages or hitting flags into the sun or in in you know lower light conditions. Um, it's pretty great. So there you have it. That's uh, what I think about the Bushnell V5 Shift.